Hello, my beautiful Leos. How are you today? Welcome to my channel. My name is Donna Wilder Hart, and we are getting started with your reading. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus of Leo. I highly suggest you look at your Rising, Moon, and Venus. The overall energy in this love reading for the first part of January for our beautiful Leo energies is the world. Ooh, the world is your oyster. You are going for something, Leo. You are ascending. You are looking to dance on top of that world. You're looking for success, success in love, success in fulfillment, creativity. Love and creativity are your mantras according to the fifth house of creativity, which is Leo. You do have a broken heart. Leo, Leo, look at that. In the midst of all this beautiful energy, the sun card, here you are in your own reading. All right. You do have a strategy, and you do have the angel of strength helping you. Beautiful. Great. Okay. So let's get into the love portion of this reading and see what's going on with Leo's. I want to welcome everyone, watchers, cross-watchers, new visitors, as well as my beautiful subscribers. Thank you so much for all of your lovely support. We have big things happening in 2021, and I'm going to make a few rollouts in the months coming ahead. So stay tuned, subscribe if you want to be in on some really unique information that I do not see in other places here on YouTube. All right, exciting information. All right, the Four of Wands, Leo, Leo, okay. So you have some sort of stability in a relationship. I like it. You are looking at a home. You're in a, you're in a very good place in your mind, in your heart. You're in a happy place. Nine of Pentacles, for those of you who are not in relationship but single and ready to mingle, you are doing very well for yourself. I'm getting that you feel very independent. You're holding back, you know, you're in a you're in a state that says, you know, at the end of the day I'm going to take care of me. I'm my own stability. I'm going to look good, feel good, smell good. You are saving money also and you are holding back in some sort of relationship in which there is Leo energy. There is an ego battle though going on. This is sort of a one-upsmanship kind of energy. It's, say someone said to you, I really can't stand it when you only give me 15 minutes notice before you stop by. So what this means is that, Vir, you know, um, I was going to say Virgo, sorry, um, that you might feel like pushing back. Well, all I ever have is 15 minutes, so I don't know why you're saying that to me. So it's very ego driven. It's, you know, when we have ego driven battles, they're really based on feeling competitive and feeling like this desire to have friction with each other. Um, this is usually two ways. I will say that. You know, when we get the Five of Wands, it also can be a situation in which you are not willing to date someone by just one person. You may let people compete for your heart, for your attention, for your um, commitment. It can mean giving a other partners, giving your partners a run for their money by not making any choices. So it does, it can mean that you're competing for a person's attention or you're making others compete for your attention. The Hierophant, look at that beautiful energy. There you go, Taurus. So you may be dealing with a Taurus, a Virgo, or an Aries. Um, this really speaks to the fact you have two marriage energies here. For some of you, you may be married and you may want to be single. For others, you're single and you want to be married. Energy can always be vice versa. The Nine of Cups, woo! The card, the Neptunian card of happiness, throwing caution to the winds, eat, drink, and be merry. That is wish fulfillment. What is the wish that's going to be fulfilled? Well, certainly not this. We have the energy of the Five of Swords. So now we have ego-driven conflict that isn't of great importance, but is undermining a relationship or did in the past, and now we're, it's escalating. Now it's a lot of drama. So whatever this was, it gave you a lot of happiness and stability in your past. 
is increasing to a more painful kind of drama in your life. Ten of Wands says that you're finished with it. You have packed up, given up. You have moved forward. You're dropping the burden. You're focused on your money. You're focused on your success, just as we have this world card. This is heartbreaking to you. You know, when we get the, the heartbreak card, we see you really feeling very injured and very hurt here. Um, the willingness to just pack it in and move forward is uh, very important. I think most of you have done that to some extent with somebody in the recent probably five to eight months. The Ace of Swords says that you want the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. And you want somebody who's stable, loyal, passionate. You want someone with him, whom you can build a future. This is a daddy card, quote unquote, could be the husband card. But it's very much the second house. You value Leo a great deal. You want somebody who is willing to work alongside you. You want to attract someone much like yourself, who likes to be happy, who has your same values. But you have left a heartbreaking situation or person behind okay what else do we have for there we go tower card okay so that is Aries energy that is Mars energy you are taking action to find someone or a new relationship in which you could invest in which you, there would be a payoff to your investment. You would feel as though you weren't wasting your time. And these cards are a little bit crooked, so I'm gonna move them up here. Okay, one second. I know we all, all tarot readers are like, most tarot readers are like very picky about their cards. Okay, so let's see, here we go. Yeah, it looks very crooked. I'm known for that. Okay, trying to trying to be tidier. Okay, my Virgo self, Virgo rising. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see what else we have for Virgos in love. Facing or getting over a heartbreak, really wanting to have your happiness though. So we have beautiful energy. I like this. The Three of Wands is speaking very highly to the fact that you are willing to take a chance in love, you're willing to try new activities, you wanna be a little bit adventurous. Now, in the past when you had that energy, you ran into toxic, you ran into toxicity, and it shows that you, it puts you underwater pretty quickly. So we can see where the problems are. It, you know, you did have a tower moment when you discovered somebody was really going to dish out a lot more pain than they were happiness. It was very abrupt, you know, it came out of the blue that you had this recognition, Leo, because things started off very beautifully in your relationship. You really thought that this was the one. You thought this was your the best partner you've ever had. And now you're in this energy of having to make a choice wanting your ships to come in, and you're willing to be alone while you go through this. The Eight of Wands speaks very highly of the fact that you want to travel, you want to experiment, you want something highly passionate. You want someone who's going to be very attentive to you. You want someone who's going to answer texts very quickly. So let's see what else we have here before we clarify these cards. All right, Seven of Cups. So. What I'm seeing here for you is that you may, been, may have been involved with a person who just never chose you. They gave you a lot of headaches, they gave you a lot of pain, they promised you a really great relationship and they didn't deliver. This person, Seven of Cups, clearly made a wrong choice. You did fall in love with this person, you love them very deeply, but when I get the Justice card, you have made a decision to walk away from a situation that was not fair. Okay, so we're gonna clarify the cards here and see what's going on. Okay, so I'm seeing you in a state of trying to make a final decision. 
I don't think that you're not speaking with this person, but for all basic purposes, you have left them behind. I feel as though for many of you, this person is holding on. They're not going anywhere. This person is um, likes to leave things in a very kind of chaotic state. So Leo, what I see is that they want control. They want control of you. They want control of the situation. And it's very ego-centered and it's not very kind. It's, and the moon card, you know, you really love this person, so you really don't want to walk away, but you found that you had to because they left you no options. You need passion, you need someone who's very loyal, you need someone who's very honest, and you need someone who's on the same page. So the tower card says that you made a decision to break for a new beginning, okay. The world card says that you closed out the cycle, and the four of swords says that you are currently healing from that broken heart. The five of wands is telling us that if you were in a relationship with this person, you never had security that even though you didn't have any visible signs that they were out sort of messing around or you felt very much that you were in a relationship by yourselves, that you were in a committed monogamous relationship. And yet the five of wands, five of wands, you know, you felt as though when you were earning money that this person sometimes communicated in a way that made you believe that they could be that's player energy along with the Seven of Cups. I see both of those. When those are, you know, egotistical battles, these people are competing for the same thing, but they're burning the place down at the same time. So why is a Nine of Coins here? What do we have here for, Vir for Leo? Okay, romantic gesture is going to be coming in soon from this person. Oh, so you know, you left them behind, but you didn't tell them. You left them wondering what happened. They only think that you are still around, but you actually, it's sort of a, an Elvis left the building and you walked away from them. They didn't see that. So Leo, interesting energy. You didn't really make it clear to this person because while you're healing, you want to keep your options open. That's that Five of Wands card yet again. So let's see, why are you holding back from this person? I do feel as though you've already left, but I do not feel as though it was a formal breakup. Yep, eight of coins, you might work with them. You might plan on working with them in the future. You're just going to let this work out on its own. Hierophant card says that you want something stable. You want that Taurus energy, that what you need and what they need or want are very different. Yep, the death card, there we go. So you've come to the conclusion that you can't be married to this person. This person could be married to someone else. I'm not really seeing that specifically as the case, but it'll be true for some of you. So the death card is on this sense of stability and happiness that you had with this person who really isn't a viable candidate. Yeah, Page of Swords. Somebody who's a little bit sneaky, somebody who's a little bit of a spy, y you know, they're trying to manifest their happiness. Oh, I don't like that. That's not, I love the magician card normally, but I don't like it next to the page of swords. This person brought you a lot of happiness though. When things were good, they were very good. And when they were bad, they were very bad. Okay, yeah, hanged man. You know, you just decided to sort of walk away. This person's down here flailing their arms going, oh, you know, you've hurt me, or you know, why are you walking away, Leo? And you're, you're just not having it, the hanged man. Looking at things from a different perspective. So you've left the burden of all of this sort of competitive energy that was toxic, that put you underwater. And you're just focusing on your money, you're focusing on your career, you're focusing on your success. Instead of the King of Pentacles, you ended up with a page. A page who looks just a little bit silly. When you think about what they actually offered, they had this really interesting ability to look substantial. But the truth of the situation is this person wasn't substantial. They were the Page of Cups. 
offering you a little bit of a fishy smelling <laughs> weird offer that didn't that, that in fact the fish aren't even in the cup they're trying to swim over there three of swords they may, you may have been in a third party situation yep seven of swords there we go somebody who was a liar a cheater somebody who hurt you somebody who took what they wanted this is a very bad hurt when i get the five of swords the seven of swords and the three of swords that is kind of the creme de la creme of a painful relationship with the tower and the death card it really speaks to the fact that you cannot go back to this person will not go back will you stay in love with them for a while yes but as you find your mojo and move forward with that queen of wands energy you're very powerful that is very much aries energy if you simply go out and do something and take action you'll come out of this feeling that you have to have answers. The truth of the matter is, uh, what I get, Leo, is that you actually have all the answers you need. That for anybody in your life in the future, from now on, that is mysterious, that looks like a player, sort of, what is that saying? Walk, walk like a duck, quack like a duck, you're a duck. And to not allow someone to sort of put you in any situation in which you feel competitive. You find it really devastating emotionally. You, you really felt that this person was a good person, but they're actually quite manipulative. Because when we get this devil card, if you look at the fact, it's a beautiful, handsome devil. This person gets a lot of attention from other people. They are, you know, constantly entertaining talks or conversations with others they like to be in control they like to manip manipulate to get what they want so when we look at the energy of the devil card let's look and see why this exists why is it here capricorn energy six of swords well i like that that is an, uh, that's a very, very good card to clarify this. This person wants to make things better with you. The Six of Swords is letting go of toxic energy. And what happens? Nine of Swords. I don't think you're willing to take them back. The Nine of Swords says, I'm not having it. You can row your boat over here all you want. But you know what? You're not going to control me. This is what you're saying, Leo. Could be vice versa, but I don't feel that it is. You're not going to control me. You're not going to manipulate me. You're not going to put me in a third party situation. You're not going to break my heart, lie, cheat, and divert my attention thinking what this person did was they gave you the illusion of stability. They didn't give you stability. And then when you were catching on to the fact that you didn't have it, they sort of got a little bit ugly and I feel as though they walked away. They didn't tell you anything. You walked away. You didn't tell them anything. The Seven of Wands says that this person is headed back in your direction so that they can defend themselves because they love you. Um, they still have all those options, but this, her, this person is coming back. You, I feel, Leo, are very much finished with this person. You still love them, though. So let's see what we have. Ace of Cups. Wow. Okay. Well, for those of you who want love, you will reinitiate your relationship with this person. Okay. So why is the Seven of Cups here? It's healed. Oh, my gosh. Thank heavens. Okay. So there is good news here. I was getting very concerned for you. Leo, because I was worried this person would continue their toxicity. But the good news is the devil card is clarified by the six of swords, moving away from toxicity. The moon card says that you, you clarified by the nine of swords, you are not putting up with anything that drags you down. You are successfully defending your right to have an abundant, beautiful, happy, joyful, energetic, stimulating relationship that you have the seven of cups has been healed by a new beginning with a spiritual understanding aquarius energy you have all the energies on the board here but the queen of cups is about really loving very deeply 
So let's see why the Queen of Cups is here for my beautiful Leos. Why is the Queen of Cups? This person has really, really, though, hurt you very deeply, and you have to watch them. Yep, five of coins. So I think for most of you, I think for most of you, you will say to this person, you will love them. I feel as though you're healed. I don't think many of you will take this person back. Some of you will. Some of you will. But the five of coins says that you're going to leave this person sort of on the curb. It's it's like, you know, it's it's really a difficult energy, but you are very much focused on on the energy of healing, but you have new love coming in. So let's take a look at new love coming in for our Virgos. Let's see what the energy is. Let's see about new love for Virgo. I'm gonna get a different deck here. What is the new love energy? Excuse me, I keep saying Virgo because I see Virgo cards in here. Sorry about that. Okay, so you may have new love with Virgo. You may have Virgo in your chart somewhere. Okay, so we're seeing healing, we're seeing success, we're seeing the sun card, which is sexy. So it does show a new relationship coming in. You're not in any big hurry for it though. You're very focused on balancing your life out and getting your emotions back in check. Ah, here we go, twin flame. So for many of you, this is a twin flame journey. So that does make sense. It makes sense that you would heal the toxicity. It makes sense that you may take this person back long term, but you may not do it right away. The Ace of Swords says that you're going to demand with your twin flame that I see in this reading that you operate with the truth, the whole truth or nothing but your, the truth, that you are willing to be alone at the end of the day that you are you have completed this cycle we see it here here and now here that you're not going to go into a toxic cycle with this person you do love them very dearly we have the ace of cups twice here that you love this person you know that you want a new beginning in love with this person we're also getting the justice card so again justice and justice it's, you know, what we're seeing here is that you want a balanced relationship. If this person wants to join you in that place of Libra energy, of being very balanced, being fair and balanced in the relationship, you will do the work. You will choose to, you know, work on this relationship with them. The Two of Coins says that you're going to keep your options open. The Tower card says that you will break with this person if they don't. If they don't succeed at winning you back, if this person betrays you, it's over forever. But what we see is that you want to put an end to them getting a lot of attention too. So I don't really like the Ten of Swords as your outcome card. What does that mean? The Lover's card reversed, okay. So for some of you, you'll give this person another chance. For others of you, you won't. For those of you who are in a twin flame, it's going to be a long journey. You, It looks as though you will heal very successfully in this relationship, but it doesn't mean you have to continue the twin flame journey. So I'm going to leave it there, Leo. Take care. So nice speaking to you. It was a joy reading for you today. If you liked it, please like, subscribe, comment, and share. And send me a love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from.